This video is going to show you how to install the Boost Auto Parts Modified Door Harness Kit to upgrade to towing mirrors. This video is explicitly for those who originally had turn signal on glass. If you did not originally have turn signal on glass, please reference a separate Boost Auto Parts video. This procedure is applicable for 2014 to 2018 1500s and 2015 to 2019 25 and 3500 trucks. For 2014 and early 2015 trucks built on or before August of 2014, an additional RZY harness is required that Boost Auto Parts offers. Please contact the Boost Auto Parts sales team if you require any further clarification prior to purchase or the Boost Auto Parts support team if you have any issues installing this harness. Shown here are Boost Auto Parts switchback mirrors. This harness will work with Boost Auto Parts, OEM, and any other aftermarket company's mirrors that are wired properly. To get all the parts and accessories shown in this video, as well as other parts and accessories for your truck or SUV, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Prior to installation, be sure to disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. The door panel removal procedure is detailed in great depth in a separate Boost Auto Parts video. If you require explanation on how to remove the door panel, please reference that video, which will be linked in the description below. This video is primarily showing you how to perform the wiring functions. Now to remove this door jam connector, there's a little plastic latch at the top that holds it on. So begin by just depressing down with the flathead screwdriver, and that will release that. You can go ahead and pull it back. And then to release this connector from the door jam, there's a little pink latch. You just need to slide that back 90 degrees. And then once it's 90 degrees back, the connector will just unplug from the door jam. Remove the door speaker. There's just one seven millimeter bolt holding it on. And then you can just kind of pull back on it. It may be a little bit sticky. If it is, you can take a flathead screwdriver, just kind of break it loose a little bit. And once it comes, just pull straight up. That will show on the back. There's a connector right over here. You just go ahead and depress the latch and the connector will come undone. Release the harness with the trim clip and set the speaker to the side. Unplug the mirror connector by depressing the latch. Then release this from the door, utilizing a trim tool. And push this grommet down into the door. And we're just gonna bring these connectors down through the speaker hole to work with so we can modify them. Push this rubber door boot in over here into the door itself, push it into the door, and then push the entire connector down into the door itself as well. And you're just gonna wanna pull that straight down out here. Shown here is the Boost Auto Parts Modified Door Harness Kit being installed with the harness in the door. You can see we are simply time-lapsing it here to show you that it can be done in the door. However, we will show it to you on the bench just for purposes of videoing. Here we have a wiring schematic that you can screenshot and print out. We have one side of the harness laid out here on the bench. The harness does come with both sides. For this application, you will not be using the short black wire or the butt connector. You will only be using the blue wire and white wire from the harness. So we're going to begin by removing the red wire with blue tracer from this three wire bundle. locate the black mirror mating connector that the mirrors originally plugged into and pull the tape back a little bit from it that way you can get access to the cavities. Begin by undoing this white lock on the back of the connector. You can use a 90 degree pick there's just some little cutouts here. Guide it straight up. This does not fully remove it just slightly unclips. You can see that white lock just came up very slightly. It's not flush with the rest of the connector. It does not fully remove. We're going to be working with the wires in position one and two. Position one is in the top right hand corner if the white lock is facing down towards the bottom and position two is one over from the right. So these are directly next to each other. Make sure your white lock is released at the bottom. Then we need to extract these existing terminals in pins one and two. On the driver's side, both slots are likely full, so you'll need to extract two wires. However, on the passenger side, you'll likely only have one of the positions full. So you can just carefully pull on the wires from the back side of it, and the wires should come out. If necessary, you can use some pliers. Just pull on the back of it, and it should extract the terminals. Put 
the terminals off the wires, then you can just discard those terminals. Tape the wires that you cut separately from each other, away from each other, with some electrical tape, just making sure they can't short out to anything. And when inserting these terminals, the orientation is very critical. You can see these terminals have these little nubs. Those need to face down towards the white lock. So we're gonna take the blue wire and insert it into slot one of the black mirror mating connector. You wanna make sure that it's slid all the way forward. If necessary, you can use a 90 degree pick to scoot the wire forward. Once the blue wire is inserted, you're gonna take the white wire, make sure the terminal is facing down, and insert it into slot two. When done, perform an inspection on the front side to make sure the terminals came directly through and did not slide into the wrong slot. Using your finger, reinstall the white lock into the body of the connector. If it's binding, more than likely, one of the terminals are not slid all the way forward. Using a screwdriver, carefully poke a hole through this grommet. Guide your two wires through the hole in the grommet. Guide a coat hanger or a firm piece of metal through the rubber boot that goes in the door jam. Tape your wires to the end of the metal coat hanger, then pull it through and untape them. Make sure wires go through this pink latch on the connector. At the bottom of the connector, there's this small pink lock. Depress that. That will allow the terminals to be inserted. When inserting these terminals, the crimp on the terminal needs to face down towards the bottom of the connector. This connector is labeled. Be sure to be placing the wires in the correct slot, as if they are inserted in the incorrect slot, you cannot extract them. The blue wire is going to be placed into slot 11. The white wire is going to be inserted into slot 9. If necessary, you can use a pick to guide them forward. Once the terminals are installed, using your hand, push the lock back into place. Using some electrical tape, tape your wires over the existing harness straight like this. The installation procedure is the exact same for the driver and passenger side. Repeat the procedure on the opposite side. If you are installing power folding mirrors and did not originally have power folding, you will need to install a new power folding mirror adjust switch. Boost Auto Parts does offer this switch on our website. If you're installing manual folding mirrors, or you originally had power fold, you can disregard this next portion of the video. Now, if you need to switch from a non-power folding switch, as seen here, to a power folding switch, you'll need to remove this bezel. To do that, you'll four seven millimeter bolts, one here, 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 and here. We'll go ahead and take those out. Now to remove this bezel that you're going to have your one retaining arm right there, you just need to pry it off of that and the entire thing will come up. To remove these connectors, you have one lock right here. You'll unplug one here, that will unplug, and then on this one, there's a lock, so you'll need a pick, pull this red lock back, and then depress the pin and it will unplug. Now to remove this mirror switch, you want to just put steady pressure down with this hand, and it's just held, with, held on with these retention clips. I'm just gonna kinda pry while pressing, and then you'll do that on both sides, and the switch will just come out. Now we'll just take our new power folding switch, put it in, and it'll just snap right into place. Now we'll go ahead and plug back in all of our switches. Make sure you slide the red lock back on that one. Now to put it back on, make sure that this clears this retention arm right here and just line everything right back up. Now we're going to put back in the four seven millimeter bolts, the one here, 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 and here. Be careful not to over torque these. Reinstall all parts in the reverse order. Boost Auto Parts does have a more thorough door panel reinstallation video available on our YouTube channel if you need further information. However, it is basically the exact opposite process of the removal procedure. Then, line up the gray door jam connector with the mate 
in the cab. Once it's lined up and pushed together, you can slide the pink lock 90 degrees forward and all the way up, and that should lock it into place. Once done, latch the black connector, then slide the top together and it will latch on. Once complete, do not forget to reconnect the negative battery terminal. To get all the parts and accessories shown in this video, as well as other parts and accessories for your truck or SUV, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com.